If ever a trial boiled my blood and made me feel so aggravated, it's the one that's currently going on, the boy in the box trial. If you guys are following it on Law and Crime Network, then I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from. Timothy Ann's his wife, Tracy Farader, locked their adopted son in an 8x8 box in the garage for hours on end. He didn't have a toilet in there, and had to relieve himself in a bucket, then take the bucket and clean it outside without the neighbors seeing. The boy was just 14 years old, and could be seen on camera crying and screaming in the dark. There was a camera in the ceiling of the box I believe, and hours of footage was played for the jury. I'm really struggling to listen to it, especially hearing those screams from the teenager, and how his adoptive father berated him. One of the videos showed Timothy grabbing the boy, pushing him and screaming threats. Then he goes out, turns off the light, and you hear the boy crying alone in the dark. It's utterly heartbreaking and such terrible abuse. A child forensic psychiatrist from Brown University said it's malicious and cruel, which I totally agree with. The defense had explained the teenager's difficult behavior, but nothing can justify what this couple did, and the way they treated their son. Day after day is depicted of him being woken up, his mother speaking briefly to him, him going to school, coming home to be locked in the box again. How disgusting that he was rarely allowed in the house to watch TV with his siblings, or eat dinner with them. If he did something wrong, his few books or meals were taken away or lights turned off as punishment. This is just one really tough case to follow. It continues on Tuesday with the defense, as the state just rested.